thank you so much for the opportunity. As I'm all back, it's a good day. And so, Bani, no room. I mean, if you. I was tonight before when I was I and also the brother to Obayinu Sar, that just uh, ascended uh, to the right place in the kingdom of God. We're apart from them. But what bothers me when we have such an eloquent gathering, Baba will testify that I speak my mind and don't be offended by what I am saying. What bothers me is when we come together like this and deliberate. We that are in the diaspora are looking forward to have the breakthrough to get to Nigeria, to get to Omu, because the purpose of this gathering tonight is about Omu, is about Abel Kuzan, is about Ogo State. Okay? So, with all the things that's been said, Baba, Kabiosi, are we sure, are you reassuring us that? Whenever we need to get in touch with you, there is a proper protocol in order for you to receive us, our request, so that we can move on. One of the biggest barriers between the diasporas and our native country, Nigeria, is the fact that we talk about it and we don't be about it. When it's time to get it done, you don't get the adequate partnership that we need in Nigeria. I would like to hear from Baba Obasanjo and our own Olu Wofu this evening and showing us that there's a protocol in place, just as he established Nairo, there's a protocol in place that whatever we need will be done, not the runaround that we have been experiencing for the past unless we are connected. Thank you and the good luck bless you all. When you do not know which way to go, you will be going around circle. Maybe you will not have come here. And come to blah blah blah. I have very much important things to do rather than just come here. And I don't talk without following it up. And anytime we have come, anybody who has come here and said he want to do something, I say, look, in fact I have called him about three times and he's getting annoyed. And I will not even mind him getting annoyed. Because we don't come here not for fun. Part of most the problem of most of you, with all due respect, one, whatever it is, you must know that Nigeria is not America. And when you want to do things in Nigeria, you must understand the situation in Nigeria. My brother, uh, where is he? The dog, that's it. I thought I would see you because having 100 acres of land does not build a house without due respect. And where you have it, how accessible will it be when you build that hospital? For all I know, that road from Abeokuta to Lagos, half a kilometer on either side, have been occupied. So if you build your hospital, which if it's uh, Mowe you are talking about, I don't know whether it is on the right going to Lagos or on the left going to Lagos. Wherever it is, you have to get very good road 
to that office and possibly get an early part to that hospital. Now, that is the sort of thing you have told us three things that you will do, uh, you will fix. But again, you are asking for people to invest. What I always tell people now is that look, there are many moribund things that we can invest and raise up. The time of starting something afresh, it takes a lot of time. So if you can get something that is already on the ground and you can enhance and be in control, but the land you have got is useful. I would want to see that hospital as soon as possible. But if I know the way things go in Nigeria, maybe 10 years from now we will still be talking about that hospital <laughs> to be built. And I mean that. I've been on this for over three years. Over three years. And we are right at the point now. Okay. Now, so look at the situation in the country. And you have people on the ground. Three people, I was telling KBC, three people came to me four days ago from MI.